Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my gem collection as well as the ring that I made this week and I hope you guys like it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned! Elugu Mars 2 Pro finally came in the mail and I'm so excited and happy to share with you my unboxing coming next week. I also wanted to quickly mention that I did start a Patreon and if you're interested in seeing behind the scenes footage you can sign up for only $1 a month. It does default to 5 but a $1 will go a long way for me. The money is being reinvested into technology and the link is down below if you're interested. So the first gem I'm going to show you is Aquamarine. The name aquamarine comes from the Latin aqua word meaning water of the sea, referring to its sparkling ocean-like color. Its color is sometimes bluish green and is caused by iron oxide within the chemical makeup of the stone. Aquamarine is a typical birthstone of those born in March, so happy birthday to anyone born in March. This is your birthstone. It's very beautiful. And while doing some research, I came across a lot of websites talking about the abundance of healing properties that aquamarine has which was really interesting such as alleviating sinus lung and respiratory problems which is maybe good during these times also helping with colds and other things which is super interesting the next stone i have here is called opal and there are two broad classes of opals precious and common precious opals display these beautiful iridescence, also known as play of color. This is defined as a pseudochromatic optical effect resulting in flashes of colors from certain minerals under a white light. Depending on the conditions in which it was formed, opal may be transparent, translucent, or opaque. The next stone here is called the peridot, and it's typically a light green color. Its color is dependent on the iron contents within the structure of the gem, and peridot usually occurs in silica deficient rocks such as volcanic basalts and meteorites. Peridot is the only two gems observed to be formed not in the Earth's crust but in the molten rock of the upper mantle. Amethyst is the next stone and it owes its beautiful violet color to irradiation, which is excessive radiation exposure, as well as some iron impurities. The name comes from modern Greek meaning intoxicate, and back then it was a reference to the belief that amethyst gems could prevent intoxication. I don't know about you, but maybe not excessively drinking would do the trick, but um, I don't know, maybe not. The next stone right here is called the Blue Moonstone. Mine just happens to be white. It is very plentiful in India and Sri Lanka and it's known to be a stone for new beginnings. Citrine is the next stone and it is a transparent yellow variety of quartz, ranging in colors from pale to golden yellow, honey, or almost brown. It contains a rainbow and sparkly inclusions. The name comes from the French word citron, meaning lemon. Citrine's yellow color are due to the presence of ferric iron and the colors are typically associated with topaz. Virtually all natural citrines come from Brazil and it is the birthstone for November. This stone right here is called the Heliodor which is a Greek word meaning gift from the sun and can be confused for the citrine but it has its very unique beauty. Garnet is the next stone and is the birthstone for January. This comes from the Latin word garnatus, meaning seed-like in reference to a pomegranate. These stones were frequently used for jewelry in the Victorian times and is described as living fire. The next stone here is called pink tourmaline. It's a variety of tourmaline that can be found in pale light pink to bright hot pink. This mineral can be seen in raw, transparent, and opaque formations. It's commonly found in association with quartz and other tourmaline colors. 
pink tourmaline represents a love of humanity and humanitarianism. It's worn to promote sympathy towards others. These last stones are also citrines, as previously mentioned, but I love the cut of the stone in particular, which is an emerald cut. These stones will be used in future jewelry pieces that I create, so I just wanted to give you a little background information on them before I utilize them in my jewelry. These little metal pieces here are references that I've been using to recreate in Blender, a 3D software that I've been using, and they've been items that I refer to when trying to make necklace pendants. So I really love all the creative ideas and I've just been playing around with that. Next week during my unboxing of my new resin printer, I will also be printing out a ring and testing out the fit of a gem. So please comment down below what gem you want to see first and I'll incorporate that into my design. I have yet to speak about the ring that I created and if you're still watching after my long gem rant then thank you for sticking around. Uh, this ring is an engagement ring that I was inspired to make. I did use a reference however I did create the prongs myself which I really struggled with this week. They're not perfect, but it's definitely an improvement from my first 100 attempts. I placed 10 small gems on both sides of the rings, which two small prongs are supporting. I also found a rose gold hex code to replace this really unappealing blue metallic color that you'll see in just a moment. If you don't know, a hex color, also known as a hexadecimal color, is expressed as a six digit combination of numbers and letters defined by its mix of red, green, and blue. Designers and developers use hex colors and web design to ensure that the right color is being used. As you can see here, I'm typing in B86B77 to change this ring to a beautiful pink color which is more appealing in my opinion. Hex colors are super easy to find and can be found with a simple Google search. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. You can also sign up for my Patreon with the link down below as well if you're interested in seeing more content. In the next few videos, I will start to cast my rings and hopefully get some rings on Etsy so you guys can get a hold of them. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week with the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro.